this week, Microsoft acquired the rights to Gears of War. From Epic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Jurassic Park. That's yeah. like, it's an epic song, though, so when something epic happens. Uh. Um, development duties are now handed over to Black Tusk, so at least now we know what they're working on. So there. who the heck is Black Tusk? They were a fairly new studio who hasn't yep. made a game yet, right? Yep. And uh, they were tasked with creating the next Halo for Microsoft. Well, not literally the next Halo, but the, the next, next Halo game, the next, but the next like, like series, the next right. big franchise for Microsoft. Right. They had a teaser trailer at E3 2013 yep. for their new project. Which, what was which it? I forget. it showed some guys scaling down a building in, in black suits and breaking in through a window, and that was about it. Yeah. I don't think it had, it had a title, even an official title. Right. I mean, it was, one no, sort of leaked title. out since then. Yeah, the, guys there, scaling down the building in a black suit. Yeah, there, there was no, there was no title. It was, <laughs> it was title. just Working like, title. yeah, we, we just called it Black Tusk Game in all of our notes. Yeah. Uh, there, there was no, there was nothing really on it. Some more details have come out about that since it was going to be in Shanghai and yada yada, but we didn't know that at the time. So this keeps the Gears of War franchise exclusive to Microsoft. Yeah, well, it it, yeah, it doesn't. Does, it cha- nothing has changed in that regard. Yeah. Well, like, what's uh, changed is that they own it now, just like Halo. Well, yeah, and, and the, the the developer, and they, they always owned Halo. Well, not always. They owned it as soon as they bought Bungie. Um, but like when Bungie left Microsoft, it was it, like Halo stayed with Microsoft. Sure. So it, it's changing developers from from Epic, and to be fair, it kind of already did. It changed uh, with Judgment. That was developed by, uh, well, formerly People Can Fly, now Epic, Poland, or wherever. Uh Um, But it was a different development team that made it. Now it's going to change development teams again to Black Dusk. Mm -hmm. So so that that will change, but it's still going to be exclusive to to Microsoft, just like it always has been. They also got Rod Ferguson, former director of production. Yeah, that's almost crazier. So Rod's had quite the year, I guess, actually, uh, at Epic, left Epic co- to go to 2K, and was not there very long. I don't yeah. have the exact timeline, but he was only there a few months, and then left to now rejoin, not Epic, but rejoin... Uh, Gears of War. Yeah, rejoin Gears of War at a new studio. Mm. So uh, at least we'll no, have... And they didn't get Cliffy B. Right. Well, he's out. He's, yeah, he's, he's out. He's out. Were they trying? Well, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I'm just saying, just so people are clear that uh, Cliff's got like a gold-plated boat. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't care. <laughs> no, he, he put up a blog post saying, "I'm not working on it. I'm not consulting on it. Yeah. I, I think these guys are great. Let's see what they do." No, I don't think they tried to get him. I'm just letting gotcha. folks know. I'm sure they asked. <laughs> hey. hey, you want to come back? Yeah. Make games? Nope. Had to totally ask. happy. <laughs> he, he invented some new type of floating gold that can somehow <laughs> go on his golden boat. What's going on with Epic? There's been some talk that may, they might even just be getting out of development entirely. I mean, it's hard to do when you got Fortnite burning. Because yeah. that game is just like all assets in, I'm sure. And it, it's, it's, That game looks cool. I don't know. It's too bad that, that one teaser probably probably never got, come yeah. out. I don't yeah, know. I thought it looked cool too. I, they're, they're becoming more and more a technology company as they yeah. go. But I mean, they still have, they still have the People Can Fly team. Yeah. So they've got, they've got to be working on something, right? So they, they've, got to, they've got to have, you know, they would lay all these people off if they were no longer making games. They've got, they've got their big technology Wing. But there's obviously something, you know, over 2013, or it might have even started in 2012, there's a, there must have been a big, big shakeup there. All their senior creative people left. Yep. Um, but they left on good terms. They just say, you know, we're kind of done doing this now. We're going to go yep. do other stuff. And so I, what seems likely to me is that they're like, hey, Unreal Engine is what makes all of our money. Let's really focus on this engine and become, yep. you know, that's, that's the company we want to be. We don't want to be in the business of AAA game development, would be my guess. That's all speculation, just based on you know why would all their creative folks leave otherwise? Yeah, I, I don't know. Like uh, they still they still obviously have teams there, so I don't I don't think they're done. I think I think they probably they probably did have a big change of direction, and you know maybe the the old guard wanted to move on, but I, I think uh, that I don't I don't think we've seen the last epic game. I'm just noticing the Gears of War logo just fits right in with the Game Scoop set back there. It's very. <laughs> it's hard to believe that we didn't get it when we bid on the the property Gears yeah. of War. But yeah. We were beat yeah. out by Microsoft. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, we were close number two. I heard. I I, I I like the the topic you were you were you were throwing around about Nintendo possibly buying it. That that seems, seems that like was a weird. Uh, this comes from a, that would have been awesome. This comes from a listener. Do I have the email here still? Um, one of our listeners wrote in asking uh, if we thought Nintendo should have bought. Uh, Gears of War, <laughs> the franchise. That would have been crazy. It would have been real weird. Yeah. I, I think that would have been a poor fit myself. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Th- so now Black Tusk will be making the next Gears of War game, which I just want to put this out there. If it's called Gears of War Four, I just mocked up, made a mock up of a little. This is logo your new here, thing, huh? This is your new thing. Is making use, logos and stuff. Yeah, this is a free one from Microsoft. If you want to go ahead and use this one? We just use okay. Four Gears Four of War. 
feel like I missed my calling. <laughs> I should just be come up with cheesy corporate yeah. puns. Terrible pun yeah. game headlines. Yeah. You gotta stop giving these away for free. Damon, if you're good at something, never give it away for free. Yeah. No. Joker. Uh, <laughs> That's what the Joker said. <laughs> Have we covered all this, or does, do you want to? You want to? Anything else we want to mention? On this we didn't talk about the Mad World trailer. Remember that when they did? All around me, I'm running. Does that have to do running? Oh, the, the Gears of War trailer. I thought you meant the game Mad World that came oh. out for the Wii. Oh, I remember that thing. Jeez, <laughs> yeah. remember that? This is gonna be the I'll muck Boson, everybody. This is gonna be the best <laughs> game ever. Fuck you, Boson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love you, Boson. <laughs> I do wonder how the folks at Black, Black Tusk feel about working on Gears. Like on the one hand, this new team came together to make a brand new thing. Yeah. Like they were on this whole creative new project. Now they're handed this kind of old franchise. So on the one oh. hand, it's a little disappointing. But the flip side is Gears is one of the absolute biggest properties in games. Yeah. And so that also could be really exciting. So yeah, it's, it's like if you're not going to get to work on your own thing, sure. get, getting like something that is virtually a guaranteed yeah. success is... It'd be interesting really to be a fly on the wall at that studio and know like whether they're excited or bummed that they have to you know, put their own creative sort of juices on hold a little bit for their project. I mean, maybe they, maybe they uh, aspire to the bungee route. It's like, do really well with this franchise, and then you get to go off and do your own thing. You can alternate. Yeah. Sure. I, I mean, I love Gears. It's one of those things where, like, I played it. I didn't actually play Judgment. I played one, two, and three. Yeah. Absolutely loved them, but I kind of felt like I had my fill. Like, I hope they mix up the formula and really make it feel different. Well, they've, they've got to do something new for for Xbox One. Like, they've they've got so much to to play with. If they're if they're developing something exclusively for X, Xbox One, there's there's gonna be some kind of change up. I I, I wholeheartedly, <laughs> I, I I believe that. I I don't have anything to back that up. 